no one likes being told what to do, do they? No, we all want to be boss of our own lives. Look, it's annoying when people interfere, isn't it? Your parents telling you to tidy your room or mates egging you on to do that thing that's just a bit dangerous or a bit risky. Teachers sending you homework that's due in tomorrow morning and you've already got plans that evening. We like to be in control of our own lives. Well, maybe you think Christianity is a bit like that. Uh, maybe you think that Christianity is just being told what to do by some guy, Jesus, that you've never met, who's just out to spoil your fun, to ruin your day. Maybe you think Christianity is just about a bunch of rule keeping. And so why should Jesus be in charge of your life? Well, look, if you're still watching, bear with me. Let me try and persuade you that Jesus being in charge of your life is not just a bearable thing, not, not just an okay thing, but actually the best thing. Jesus being in control of your life is the best thing. Here we've got three reasons, three things for you to think about. Here's the first. You see, Jesus made everything. The Bible says this in Colossians chapter 1. It says, For in Jesus all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Jesus made everything. And so he knows how it works best. Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, look, if you've got a, um, a piece of equipment or, or a problem with your computer, some software isn't working perhaps, what do you do? How do you fix it? Well, you might try by yourself. But if you can't remedy the problem, you go back to the instruction manual. Or you get online and you find the company who made the thing. And you get diagrams, you get instructions, you find out how to fix it from the person who made it. Because the person who made it is the person who is most likely to know how it works and how it works best. Now Jesus made everything. The entire cosmos, stars, planets, black holes, galaxies, the, the mountains, the valleys, the oceans. And even down to the tiniest particles. Even down to the personal makeup of the chromosomes in your DNA. Jesus made it all. He designed life itself. And so in the same way as a watchmaker is the best person to understand how to fix a broken watch. Or a software designer is the best person to understand how to fix a broken piece of software and how to use it to its best. Jesus knows what's best for life and for you because he made everything. But more than that, Jesus wants what's best for you. D during his time on earth, uh, Jesus said this, he said, I have come so that they may have life, life to the full. Life to the full. You know, that, that doesn't sound like someone who's trying to spoil your fun, does it? See, Jesus wants you to flourish. He wants you to use all the gifts that he's given you, all that individual personality and character and ability. He, he wants you to use those to their uttermost now. He wants you to have life to the full. He doesn't want you to do it on your own either. He wants to know you as you do it. He wants to celebrate your flourishing. He wants to enjoy a perfect relationship with you. Imagine that. The creator of the entire cosmos wants to delight in you living your life as it was best designed. Now look, you may not agree with what he thinks is best. 
You may not agree. But there's one more thing I think that you need to think about. Jesus is the king. Jesus is the king. Let me um, read a little bit from the book of Ephesians. It says this. He raised Christ from the dead, that's Jesus, and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything. Jesus is the king. He's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He's reigning over the entire universe now. How can we be sure? How do we know that that's true? Well, when he was on earth, Jesus claimed to be the Son of God. He claimed to be the Son of Man. He claimed to be the Saviour, the Messiah. I guess it's easy to make those kind of claims, isn't it? But he backed those claims up because after he was killed, he came back to life. He rose from the dead. He defeated death itself. And look, and let's be honest, you've got to listen to a guy who defeats death, haven't you? You want to know what he's got to say. Look, even if you don't understand some of the things that he says, even if you uh, disagree with some of the things that he says about how life should run, look, he defeated death. And he's now king. And so, look, can I lovingly suggest that if you disagree with King Jesus who defeated death, then maybe the problem is with you and not with Jesus. He has earned the right to tell us how best life should work. You see, his resurrection means that he is not only reigning in this life now, but he will reign forever in the life to come as well. And look, and that's the key, actually, because if this life is all there is, then do you know what? Do what you like. Go crazy. Be selfish. Live for pleasure. Live for the moment, because... If there is no life after this one, if this is all there is, then eat, drink, be merry, for tomorrow we die. If there's no legacy, if there's no future hope, then make the most now. Do what you like. But Jesus' resurrection, his coming back to life, did more than just make him king. It didn't just establish him as king, it made it possible for you to to defeat death. It made it possible for you to be raised to new life. Everlasting life. Life lived to the full in utter perfection forever. So why should Jesus be in charge of your life? Because he knows you. He knows what's best for you. He died for you and defeated death so that you could be raised to new life. A renewed life. A perfect life. Life lived to the full. That goes on forever. That's why Jesus should be in charge of your life.